Hello and welcome to Join Our Town. I'm your host, Tammy Jill Johnson. Join Our Town brings you the issues and problems that are faced in the local community with the hope of finding a solution. Our guest for this segment is Nicole Riley, officer for the Reynoldsburg Police Department and public information officer for the Community Resource Bureau. She joins us today to share important information regarding home invasions, along with how families can take preventative measures to avoid this crime from happening. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Officer Riley. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. So before we get started with home invasions, tell us a little bit about yourself and your history with the Reynoldsburg Police Department. Sure. I've been employed with Reynoldsburg for about eight years now. Um, I was on patrol for approximately four years, and then I'm currently assigned as a school resource officer to Reynoldsburg High School Summit Campus, and I've worked at both um, high school campuses for about four years now. Nice. So you get to hang out in high school. I get to hang out in high school, oh, except good. in summertime. Jesus. <laughs> okay, um, so you're also the public relations officer for something called Community Resource Bureau. Yes. That's new for Reynoldsburg. Explain to us what that is. Correct. We just started our Community Resource Bureau um, this year, the beginning of 2016, mm -hmm. and that's comprised of two school resource officers like myself, um, a DARE officer, two community resource officers who are actually assigned to two specific areas um, in our town that we're experiencing some problems. We have a motor unit, which is a motorcycle officer who works on traffic enforcement, um, neighborhood complaints, parking complaints, that sort of thing. And then we have a sergeant who is, oversees the entire bureau, and he is also a certified motor officer, so you'll see him out on the motorcycle a lot. Wow. So this is new for you guys. Yes. Are you liking it? I do like it. Um, you know, I think it gives us a good opportunity to get out in the, in the community, and so often we're just busy gone from call to call when when somebody needs us and we rarely get the opportunity to be out there and kind of maybe have those positive interactions with uh, kids and adults alike but to let them know a little bit what we do what what we can do for them and that we're there to help them so we do a lot of events especially targeting children so for me you know I think it's a great a great opportunity to, to be out there and experience something different it is and get it's people awesome. involved in law enforcement thank you thank you for being here with today because that's um, being involved with the community is a big issue like being here on the show sure um, we're going to talk about home invasions yes and the first thing that um, I would like you to explain to our viewers is what a home invasion is and how it differs from like a bur burglary or a robbery okay so it, it is a typical burglary except for the fact that somebody's home and okay. that's what makes it a home invasion um, and when once that suspect enters the house you know if there's some sort of um, threat of force or physical harm caused to to the homeowner to the resident or if the suspect is brandishing a weapon of some sort that's what turns it into a home invasion um, you know burglaries are scary enough but the fact that usually somebody's not home when a burglary occurs so a lot of times what we see is a, a common burglar who's used to going into a residence to steal a TV or a stereo system, something like that, and they get in there and they're surprised that the resident's home. Wow. And so things, you know, turn south then. Really, really get bad. So what are some of the penalties associated with getting caught with doing something like that? Well, under the Ohio Revised Code, we don't have a specific section just for home invasion, so to speak. Um, but at, at that point, it does turn into either an aggravated robbery mm -hmm. or an aggravated burglary, and those are both first-degree felonies, so that's the most serious offense that you, that you can have, the same as a, a rape or a murder. Um, so there are mandatory prison sentences with it being a first-degree felony, and of course, if a firearm's involved, then you have a mandatory gun spec on top of that, so you're definitely looking at some serious prison time for for something like that. That's scary. It is scary. So from, in your professional opinion and from your perspective, how are some of these home invasions caused? Like what are some of the things that you've seen? I'd say that probably the, the most common thing, um, a lot of times the homeowner is in, involved in some sort of drug activity and a lot of time it, it might be something for retaliation. Um, and, and like I said earlier, quite often, you know, it might be a regular burglary and then the person gets in there and, and finds that the homeowner's right. home and they're unexpected. And we actually did have one of those in our city where the, uh, the suspect thought that the place was unoccupied, got inside and met the homeowner. Didn't, the homeowner even said later, I felt like they didn't know what to do with me because they were so surprised I was there. Right. And unfortunately, you know, they, they um, roughed them up a little bit and, wow. and tied them up. And so 
you know, it's and it's crazy because it's like they wouldn't know what to do if they, if that's not what their intention Correct. was. They wouldn't know what to do, but they're not just going to turn around and walk away. Right? And say, oh, this is I was a kid. A lot of times they'll knock on the door and see if somebody's home. Right. And you know, say you're in the shower, you just don't want to answer the door. You might think it's a solicitor of some right. sort, um, which is what happened in this case. But the guy was home. So you said that a lot of it could be drug related or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, what are what are some of the things that homeowners can do to um, prevent? you know, a home invasion. Sure. Well, not just home invasions, but burglaries in general, and especially with this time of year. You know, it's summertime, everybody's out. Everybody mm -hmm. has their garage doors open and their windows open, so it's kind of prime time for that. So, you know, just be cautious uh, of your house. Make sure, you know, when you leave, is your garage door go all the way down. So many times we pull out the driveway and you're, you're in a rush to get to work. You don't watch to make sure the garage door right. goes all the way down. Um, leave in your, if you park in your driveway and you leave your garage door opener in your car at night or dur during the day, somebody just gets into your car and then they have access to your house because they have your um, garage door opener. So things like that. Uh, basement windows seem to be a big entry point mm -hmm. and you can actually, for such a small space, you can buy the, uh, the window block and you can put that on there and that's shatter resistant for like a, a ball bat or a golf club, something somebody would try to use. Mm -hmm. It is expensive, but if you're just doing a small area like a basement window, we see a lot of the doors kicked in. That's the primary method of entry. Um, and a lot of times it'll be a back door. So if um, you can buy bars at like a home improvement store where you actually lodge it up under the doorknob okay. and it meets some resistance. So if somebody tries to kick the door in, it, it can't. they, they okay. can't kick it in. Um, you know, I have one of those at my house. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that, you can lodge a chair up under the door. Um, so those are all things. Deadbolts, you know, we encourage deadbolts. It's great to have two locking systems on the door if you're okay. able to. The Most of the deadbolts they sell at the home improvement stores come with, you know, really short, like a two-inch screw. We mm -hmm. encourage somebody to, to get the four-inch long screws. Okay. Um, it, that way, if it kicks, it's not pulling right out of, right out of the door immediately. Right. So there's, a, you know, a lot of things you can, you can do. Those are good tips. Sure. So, okay, so we, we talked about that. Now, and I know that, I don't know, you didn't mention alarm systems, but I sure. know there's a lot of them nowadays that are yes. so easy and they're portable. People can control them from their yeah, phone. Yeah, and cameras too, you know, you can watch, you can watch your house from, from your smartphone, you can yeah. see the cameras. So alarm systems, we do encourage, if you do get an alarm system, to get one with a panic button. So if somebody does break in, you have that option of, of hitting the panic button, right. um, the keyless panic button. Having your cell phone close to your bed, you know, if you sleep at night, have your cell phone right there because you might not be able to get to a landline. A lot of people don't have landlines right, right. Um, anymore. Or if you need to go hide somewhere, you can take that, you can take that with you. Um, dogs, you know, that's a great deterrent. I know yeah. every time I would go up to a house or something, if I hear a big dog barking in there, it, it makes me think twice. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, those are great options. And so, and, and help me, help me reiterate this. If you have an alarm system with a camera and and you're on social media, you don't tell people you're leaving. No, and we see that, we see that a lot. You know, everybody posts their vacation plans, or I'm at this concert, or I'm going to the club tonight, you know, whatever, right, right. whatever it may be. Well, that's just telling everybody in the that world that you are not home, and we, and people prey on that. You know, it's yeah. so easy to, to put your business out there, and what you're doing, and what you're not doing, and who you're with, and that's just really kind of opening your home up for, for anybody. Right, thank you, yeah, I, I try to stress that too. At least what you can do is tell people what happened afterwards. Sure, yeah, sure, yeah. post pictures, you know, from your vacation, but yeah. even with the check-ins when you, um, you know, you're out at an establishment or store and you're, you're checking in that, you, that you're here and you post that on Facebook, well, they know if you're checked in. Right, your um, phone is there, so you're that, there. That you're not at home. Yeah, um, now I know that there are different methods that, that people use to get inside of homes and things like mm -hmm. that. What are some of them? The most common that we see are doors kicked in. Okay. Um, and, and with the warmer weather, we do see a lot of window entry, um, you know, cutting. Just say your window's open and you only have the screen in. Well, it's pretty easy to cut, cut mm -hmm. the screen out um, and get that in there. A lot of times people leave their, their doors unlocked. You know, that's mm. kind of how things used to be, but it's, right. it's not like, it's that, not like anymore. that anymore. So just <laughs> kind of double check those doors, make sure you know, make sure that they're all locked and that your house is as secure as you, as you can make it. Um, they do make some pretty good reinforced screen doors now too that you can put in front mm -hmm. of your, your regular home door. So that's kind of a, a second barrier that somebody has to get through. Now going along with that Officer O'Reilly, help me also to reiterate that there's no such thing as a safe neighborhood to just there's, leave your door unlocked. No, there's not. <laughs> um, you know, when I when I was younger, there were bad areas of town or areas, and and everywhere is experienced. And now, you know, there's no um, area that that is safe or is not susceptible to somebody breaking in. That's 
somebody sees the opportunity to break in your house, it doesn't matter what area of town you're in. So, so what should a person do if they either walk into a home invasion or burglary mm -hmm. or if I'm a neighbor mm -hmm. and I see that something's not right, what, sure. what should we do? Um, if, you know, if you walk into your own house and you see somebody that, that's not there, uh, we say get out and I teach active shooter classes as part of my job at the school and we teach run hide fight and mm -hmm. you know you can apply that principle to, to anything in life so if you have the opportunity to run get out there's nothing in that house we're saving the right. material object that's worth saving so and get nine out. times out of ten they want something they don't right. really care about right. you they, exactly so you know run get out call the call the police go to a neighbor's house if you are a neighbor and you see something that seems unusual call the police department we would be more than happy to come out and check and just make sure that if things are okay then to have to respond later to somebody coming home and, and saying see, their house was a lot of people don't feel that way and that's why i'm glad that you guys are out in the community now sure. because you know um, i'm involved in our local police department mm -hmm. in the community and i see people feel like it's no big deal like they feel like if they call that right. they're bothering you because they don't know for sure if it's somebody the person could know sure what are some ways that someone can tell whether it's like a relative or home invasion. I mean, I think you you know your neighborhood, you know your neighbors better than we do. So if you see something that seems out of sorts, then you know it's better to call. Absolutely, we would love to come out and, and just check and make sure um, things are okay. I know there was a story in Linden just a couple weeks ago where the resident actually saw um, a home invasion take place ac across the street, and he called and stayed on the phone with police, and they were they were wow. able to um, to apprehend a. a guy that was in there to, to rape an elderly female, you know, <gasps> and so if he hadn't called, you know, I hate to think how that may have turned right. out, so don't second guess or hesitate on, on calling. We, we want you to call. That's what we're here for. Thank you for that. That's mm -hmm. good to know. That's good to know, um, and I know that you said that. Was there any particular time of year or season? Christmas is obviously going to be sure. the one, but other than Christmas, I mean, nowadays it don't even matter, right? Spring and summer, just like I said before, just because the windows are open right. and, you know, you're out in the backyard working, so you might leave your garage door open yeah. thinking, I'm, I'm just on the back side of the house, but how easy for somebody just to get in there and grab some stuff out of your car, or grab right. golf clubs out of, out of your garage. So um, definitely the warmer months do, do bring out, um, you know, you know, it increases the crime yeah. rate. And the other thing too, if you, um, you know, say you buy that new big screen TV and what do you do with that box? You put it down in right. the driveway on trash day. <laughs> right so everybody day. in the neighborhood knows <laughs> that you just got a brand new 60 inch right. flat screen. So true. Um, you know, cut the box up or okay. fold it up, take it. That's good. You know, That's somewhere good. else. But um, when you put that out there, everybody knows what you own and what you, and what you just purchased. Wow. Oh, that's a lot. I mean, that's good stuff, though. <laughs> sure. Thank you. And, um, you know, we're about to wrap up the show, but thank you so much for um, just giving us permission and encouraging us to, to do what we, you know, sometimes feel uncomfortable doing sure. um, to prevent these home invasions. We really appreciate you being on the show. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. Coming up next on Joy in Our Town, Youth Anger Management. Stay with us. We'll be right back.